Hello, I'm Dr Hannah O'Regan and um, I want to talk to you just briefly about what I think three fundamental things are that I learned from going to university. Now a bit of background, I was the first person in my family to go to university so I didn't have really expectations of what I would um, find when I got there and I think it's fair to say that I did not excel at school uh, but nor did the school really um, provide me with much encouragement to go to university. So that was my background as, uh, as a student. And what have I learned? Well, three fundamental things. Firstly, I think you can learn anything if you want to. Um, we're going to university has allowed me to see that if I'm interested in something, and that's a fundamental point, if I'm interested in something, I can learn about it and, you know, I can, I, I can study it. And so, for example, um, I gave up chemistry. Um, before my GCSEs for two reasons. One, I didn't like the chemistry teacher and two, my friends weren't doing chemistry. Looking back on it, neither of those seemed like good reasons, but I know at the time they were absolutely fundamental to my decision. So I didn't do chemistry. Roll forward a few decades and I'm um, a co-author on a paper in Rapid Communications in Mass Spectrometry on the um, oxygen isotopes of primate teeth. Now we had a project, we wanted to know about the diets of uh, primates and to do that, we took a small sample of tooth enamel, and from that tooth enamel, you can get information about carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen uh, isotopes. And from those, you can infer um, the diet of the animals. And so, from knowing nothing about chemistry, I learned enough about chemistry to understand what it was we were doing. I was not the lead chemist on the project by any means, but I did learn the chemistry that I needed to know in order to know what we were doing. And you know, that's one of the things I learned at university, that I, I can learn whatever it is that I want to learn. OK, Other th something else, the second point, is that you can learn about things you would never, ever have considered. It's very easy when you're at school for someone to say, oh, you've, um, you're really good at history, um, why not do history at university? Or you're very good at physics, why not do physics at university? But actually, there's a whole world out there. There's a huge number of topics and subjects that you can consider. For example, I always knew I wanted to be an archaeologist. From when I was very young, I wanted to be an archaeologist. But um, archaeology is a massive field, and I didn't know that. Um, and so I'd been on a couple of excavations, and what was fundamental, particularly on the site that I worked on in Israel, was dating the different levels using pottery. And so when I went to university, I thought I was going to be a pottery expert, because that was the fundamental thing about archaeology. Couldn't have been further from the truth. Pottery is incredibly useful in archaeology, but there's a whole range of subjects. And in fact, an inspirational lecture on human evolution and another one on bones uh, and archaeozoology, the study of animal bones. And suddenly I, I'm working on human evolution. I'm working on sites um, uh, with, with early, early humans, early hominids. And so it's not something I would ever have considered because I didn't even know it existed when I went to university. So there's a whole wide world out there and that's what you can explore. Uh, at university. And number three, the thing your parents or perhaps your schools wouldn't want necessarily me to share at the moment, is that your GCSEs and your A-level choices, the subjects that you choose, and also the results, do not define you. Looking back from where I am now, somebody asked last year what A-levels archaeologists did, and I couldn't remember. I can't remember one of them still. I'd had a good think about it, but I'm still not entirely sure. I'd barely remember the grades, I don't remember the subjects, GCSEs even further back than that, really no chance. What I can tell you is that as long as you've got your C in maths and your C in English, eventually as you get older the, the importance of your qualifications fades into the background and also the subjects that you choose, while useful, may not um, really reflect your you know, interest and ability. So I didn't do GCSE chemistry, it doesn't matter anymore. I can learn chemistry as and when I wish to. So my three fundamental points then are you can learn anything if you want to. You will learn things that you never thought you might find interesting because you didn't know they existed. And don't worry really about your A-level choices unless you've got a really specific degree course you want to do at the moment. But why not take it, you know, take a year out, come back to it later. OK, that's me done.